Welcome ladies and gentlemen and everything in between, I'm your host with the most, it's your boy Marco the Kettle from the Kettle's Lounge. Now I know I didn't do a video on Tuesday which is uh, when I would have liked to, but I've uh, been working all week last week so I didn't really have time to put out a video. Um, so I'll be putting out two today. Um, first one is or the second one's going to be Black Ops 3 I'll tell you that now um, but yeah everything I say is my opinion um, I want you to remember that um, yeah just try not get hung up too much on what I say um, if you like the sound of the game the way I describe it then get it um, but remember, I might be biased towards certain games um, more than others. Oh, I'm out of breath. Don't know why, but I am. So let's get on to the first game that I'm reviewing today, which is Ascend Shaft and Endless Shaft. Now the the I say these. This game is shocking. The way I described it on Reddit was, it's like an etcher sketch. It looks like an etcher sketch. It plays like an etcher sketch, but worse. I'd, I'd rather play with an etcher sketch that has more creative potential than this game. But I digress. Um, so yeah, uh, this game. If anyone's played Gallagher. Um, the ship when you shoot things, so that's the ascend shaft part of this. So essentially, you're going forward, and you're hit. You know, you're shooting things and trying to get through the level. Um, How do you do your idea? I'm kind of it's essentially the endless shaft is like. Um, I, I'll. There's a reference I want to make, but it's. Uh, 10 years old plus it is one of the first games on iPad that I played which is uh, the drop dead thread like uh, it's like an endless game where you drop down a shaft and that's it and you've got to try and dodge obstacles on your way down that's essentially what it is uh, the endless side now out of the 37 games I've done this is probably the hardest so far, um, I mean, Black Ops 3 wasn't too hard, it, it's just getting used to everything because I've done it on my other account. Uh, doing it a second time was uh, yeah, inconsequential, but yeah, it, it, it's difficult because you need to perfect every level. And the boss fight, not the first one, first one's annoying, but it's not too bad. The second one on the other hand is just painful. That, that's all I can describe it as. Um, endless mode, it is impossible. It is impossible to get the required score on each of the endless levels without cheating. I'm telling you this now. Um, it is impossible. Um, yeah. So there's a way the glitch works. Um, and I, I'm being serious, you have to do it. Um, is you have to swipe left on the D-pad as fast as you can. Uh, but And you'll crash into the wall. But the problem is is that um, whenever you die, because you will die attempting this glitch, you what is it? Um, you have to press X to restart. Uh, you can press your touchpad, which I started doing, but uh, I the way I did it eventually was um, turn my controller upside down uh, or around. Uh, spam X with my left hand and just swipe right with my uh, right hand until I, I got it. 
which I eventually did. Um, other than yat, yat. Other than that, would I recommend playing this game if you want f to to play for fun? No. Um, yeah. By the way, but I digress. Uh, difficulty. Um, I give it a seven. I think if you, if you was to do it legit and not do the glitch method, ten, ten. I'd give it a twelve out of ten. Genuinely, the the ascend. It's doable. Um, you know, it's it's doable normally. But the um, the the endless shafts are, they're impossible to do normally. Um, so yeah, I'd give it a ten. Ten if you to do it normally, and seven if you to do the glitch. Six. Now we'll go six. I think. Um, now to read the platinum, I'd give it one. I give it one. It, uh, the game is a single player. Like I said, it looks like it's been drawn on an etch sketch. It it does not look nice. You can't turn the sound off. So you have I, I literally when I did it, um I just I I just call sound off all together. I I, 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 I it was honestly shocking. Um yeah, no. Sounds not good. Graphics not good. Uh, the way it controls is not good. Um, the fact that you actually have to glitch to uh, get the endless shaft is stupid as well. Um, just, it's just painful. So I'm not. Sorry if I'm a, I'm a bit out of it. I'm just captivated by my own Bloodborne gameplay. Um, but yeah. So, I give it a 1 on the rating of a Platinum. Like I said, it's so low. It looks awful. It feels awful to play. It's chuffing. It's, it's shocking. It, it's, 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 it's doing the same thing over and over again, really. I'm just trying to learn all the movements. Um, try it, try and try again until you succeed, essentially. Like, whenever I, I played it, I, I could just... Um, um, I could just m imagine Va uh, Vaz from... Uh, Vaz, whatever his name is, from uh, Far Cry 3 telling me about the definition of insanity. Um... Well, yeah, no, um, it's not fun to play, um, yeah, I, I won, I've got nothing more to say, seven on difficulty, one on, one on, uh, just feeling to play, um, oh, no, that, yeah, that's it, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a bit out of it, I, I don't know why I am, um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this less than adequate um, description on the game. Uh, and like I said before, everything is my opinion. Do not take my opinion to heart. Um, it, it solely is an opinion. Just if you want to check it out for yourself, have a look at videos on it. Um, Tutorials, guides, whatnot. Uh, it's cheap. It's only forty nine pence. It took me around about an hour um, total to complete. Maybe I think just a bit more. But yeah, other than that, it's been your horse with the most. It's been your boy, Young Lord Marco, <laughs> or Marco the Kettle from the Kettle's Lounge. Uh, hope you all have a nice day. Peace.